Okay, so for Gauss 2, uh, we're computing flux, we've got a vector field, and we've got a sphere. Well, that sphere, conveniently, is a boundary of something, right? This, this sphere here, and uh, since it has an outward orientation, that sphere is exactly the boundary of this ball. And so, as you've probably uh, seen coming, you're going to compute flux through that, oh, uh, excuse me, flux through the sphere as, uh, well, you acknowledge that that's flux through the boundary of the ball, and so you compute it with Gauss's divergence theorem as triple integral over the ball itself of the divergence of F dV, and then there's a calculation there, and... Um, uh, yeah, the, the divergence ends up being really easy in this, uh, you know, not a problem. Okay, so, so you ask the question, well, what about in number three? What's different in number three? It's clearly the same vector field, and it's, it seems to be the same surface. The only difference is the orientation, and how that plays in on this picture is, so this is for number two, for number three, draw our picture we have the sphere and at some point on the sphere there the orientation is inward right there's our normal vector and so is you know is the boundary of the ball equal to this this sphere now no it's really not anymore the boundary of the ball would be the sphere oriented the opposite way and let's write that down the boundary of the ball is it's not S, it's the S with a negative orientation. So it's negative S. Or said differently, the boundary of negative B is equal to S. So when you start writing down, well, you want to compute a flux through S. Okay, fine. Well, that's a flux through, uh, well, let's see, what is it? S is the boundary of negative B. And Gauss's divergence theorem says that's going to be a triple integral over negative b, uh, you know, divergence, uh, dot dv. And what that minus sign means, remember, uh, this is an orientation. And orientations are conventions regarding sign in the evaluation. So this is just plain old negative triple integral over b, divergence f dot ds. And so it's exactly, this flux is exactly the negative of the flux that you computed in the previous problem. And that's where that minus sign comes in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good deal.